Hey everybody, welcome back. Wayne here, coming at you from Lion Camp, South Dwayne National Park. And I've decided to sit down today and just enjoy this absolutely magical, magical moment and this incredibly magical place. This is just so beautiful, it really is. And I really hope that you guys are going to be able to travel soon and come and visit me here. So as promised, this video that I'm doing today is about these fellows here behind me, the hippopotamus. The Luangwa River is arguably the most densely populated river with hippopotamus in Africa. Well, I hope you're going to enjoy this clip. Get your coffee, get your beer, get your gin, whatever you want. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Cheers guys. Chat to you soon. Right, so I don't think there's another animal that can give you a condescending look like an annoyed hippo. Into the collective nouns of hippo. What is the collective noun of a hippo? Is it a pod? Is it a raft? Or in this case, is it a bridge? So all the guidebooks will tell you that your hippo need water to protect their bodies and their skins against sun damage. But look at this guys, we are in the middle of summer, in our peak months, it's 37 degrees outside, it's the middle of the day, and all these hippo are lying out on the riverbank. Look at this guy. Half past 12 and he's walking around like he's going Christmas shopping. It's incredible. They definitely need a lot of water, there's no doubt about it. They need a lot of water. But they do not need water to protect their skin against sun damage. Because look at that, that is just proof. However, there is nothing better than a fantastic swim on a hot day. And this guy's doing a bit more than swimming right here. He's, uh, without this, without what's happening here, you're not gonna get this. And I think, my personal opinion, of all the baby animals, I think baby hippopotamus are the cutest, cutest little thing. Oh no, this one's out and she's not happy. This little baby, there's a big guy coming in here from the right hand side. Just, oh, she's not comfortable with him, man. So in, this, in the season, in the rainy season, and towards the end of the rainy season, there's a lot of vegetation, like this Nile cabbage, and a lot of water grasses that grow on the water, which will allow the hippo to feed in very close proximity to the water. But then as the food source dries up in the water, they have to actually travel long, long distances for food. And that is probably where the saying comes from, when the proverbial hits the fan. This guy's coming back slowly to the water. It looks like his legs all stiff. Maybe he's been out dancing. This guy's taking a break before he gets back to the water. Sorry, my bud, did we disturb you? There he goes. So massive, so incredibly huge, and they look so cumbersome, but yet they can scale obstacles with such ease. Young bulls are often victims of aggression when they come back to the water to join the rest of the group. There's often males will feel threatened by younger males coming in and, and keep them away, push them at bay. So you'll find your young males, like this one, is 
very nervous going back into the water in the morning. You might find out that there's a big male in the area. Another one coming back from his evening feed. A little bit of apprehension there approaching that one in the water. No, they seem to have made some peace. Have we got a male? We've been sitting with Scott for a while. He's not very happy. Okay, he's keep stretching us. He keeps stretching us. Opening his mouth. Showing us his teeth. He's also a young bull. Covered in oxpeckers. My goodness. Wow. He's really not happy. Obviously a young bull that uh, he can't get into the river. There's another bull holding him back, so yeah. he's feeling threatened now. So a couple of weeks ago, I came across this incident in the river, which was to me very, very interesting. Look at the crocodiles at the back there. There's just so many crocodiles around us. So there's a dead hippo in the river. And the other hippo were actively feeding on this other hippo. Now I've seen, in on quite a few occasions, I've seen a hippo licking the carcass of a dead hippo. Uh, have seen them eating meat before of kills that crocodiles have made, where uh, buffalo has maybe been killed in the river, hippos chomping on it. So there is a lot of proof that hippo do eat meat to a certain degree, although they are primarily herbivorous animals but to actively see the hippo practicing cannibalism is quite interesting to me it really really was interesting because you got a couple of them chomping down every now and then defending or chasing away others and you often see dead hippo in the river you can imagine the size of those teeth the weight of the body, the power, the fights that that hippos get involved with, with each other are incredibly vicious at most times. So it's no wonder that they, every now and then they will succumb in a fight like this. But this was just so interesting for me. It was really, really interesting. And the crocodiles all just hanging back there waiting, just waiting for their time to step in and, and have a bite. There you go guys, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope it was enlightening, and you just got to get out here and see it for yourself, eh? The amount of hippo here is just absolutely phenomenal, it is just phenomenal. Hopefully one day I'll have as many subscribers as the amount of hippo in this river, then I'll be, I'll be pretty happy, eh? But uh, at the moment I want to give a quick shout out to a couple of my fans and followers, just uh, if I don't mention your name, don't be sad. It's just a couple of guys that are really quick on the draw when, when my videos come out and always a good comment. I want to just say cheers to Tommy Sasha down in Australia, to Sean and Bianca in Kempton Park, South Africa, to three little princesses down in Wilderness, Sienna, Emily and Isabel, a big, big champion in Johannesburg, Xavier, Guys, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. And enjoy. And if you did enjoy it, subscribe, follow, comment, and share. And if you didn't enjoy it, well, follow, subscribe, share, comment. Guys, cheers. Have fun. Look after yourselves. Take good care. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers, man.